Hey you guys! In this video I will be telling you how much I love the White Camellia Conditioner by Aubrey Organics. This is a protein based conditioner. Uh, it has water, aloe vera juice, camellia, argan oil, macadamia oil, olive oil, grapefruit, vitamin C, rosemary, vitamin E, sage, calendula, chamomile, balmint, hops and fennel. It is an organic product. And uh, as you know, all of your organics are protein packed. So if your hair is protein sensitive, this is not recommended for you. Uh, it is great though for colored and uh, hair and hair that needs protein. I use this twice a month as a conditioner. I have never used it as a leave-in conditioner because uh, the protein in this is quite concentrated, I believe. Um, so I don't want to risk, although it may be okay for me. But I use it only as a um, deep conditioner and as a rinse out conditioner and I have used it once as a deep conditioner and uh, about five times as a rinse out conditioner. This product, let me first start with the texture. This product is an excellent, excellent detangler with great slip. The texture is not thick but it's not runny. It has a medium consistency. It is a little bit pearly like the glycogen protein conditioner by the same brand of Organics, but not as shiny, not as satiny as that one. Um, so, like I said, it has an excellent, excellent slip. It's a great It is a great moisturizer. I do not keep it for, for long in my hair when I use it as a rinse out conditioner and it still is able to provide moisture to make my hair strong, extremely soft and smooth. And the feeling is lasting. It is not just the feeling that you get when the conditioner is in your hair. When I rinse it out, my hair does feel smooth, soft and replenished. And it actually says on the bottle that it's a replenishing conditioner for dry hair. I completely agree with this. I also like the fact that it's not too thick and that it has a great slip. I think these two are very, very important for good rinse out conditioners. Something that is important about this product is that I don't really use it um, consecutively. I give my hair a break uh, because even colored uh, hair and very dry hair can be a little dried out by protein products. Uh, so of course I don't use this every single time, but I use it twice a week. So every other week, let's say, and I wash my hair once a week. Uh, the scent of this product is um, a mixture of herbal scent and something fruity. It reminds me of the glycogen protein conditioner scent. I think all Aubrey Organics tend to smell a little bit herbally. It's not my favorite scent, but it's a bearable scent that doesn't linger, so you should be fine even if you don't love the scent. Um, I don't really love the scent, but I love the conditioner, so I learned I learned to like the scent and I think when the scent doesn't linger it doesn't really matter if it's a good or a like not so good scent. Uh, it is important uh, mostly for leave-in conditions that you will feel next day and the day after um, if, they, if the scent lingers. Here you don't get that problem. So I love everything about this conditioner. It's giving me exactly what I'm looking for and uh, I would say that I would definitely purchase this again. And I would say that this is very similar to the glycogen protein conditioner by Aubrey Organics in general. So if you like that one, you should like this one. This is one basically as well. my quick review of this conditioner. Love it and definitely recommend it for colored hair that loves protein. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.